Here's a little update. I'm getting ready to put the spark plugs in it. Here's the spark plugs I'm going with. Right there's a part number. I got them all gapped to 25 thousandths. I'm going to do 25. And uh, if we need to open them up more, we'll go from there. But I'm gapping them at 25 just to be on the safe side. Usually 28 usually does it for the boost I'm going to be running. But we'll see. But waiting on the valve covers to get delivered here in just a little bit. I'll have him on video and probably put them on. Still waiting on the supercharger. It should be here tomorrow. I got a call today and they're delivering it tomorrow by freight. So we'll make a video on that too. But just wanted to do a little short little video about the spark plugs and the valve covers. Alright guys, got the valve covers. So what I went with the Holly Sniper valve covers the polished ones. Let me get them on the car. Alright guys, we got the valve covers on. They're a snug fit. And I ain't gonna lie, this pasture side is a bitch. It's a bitch. The driver side's not as bad. But you can see how tight it is. I had to pull these wires up. Hook a bungee cord up to stretch them out of the way while you put it on there and bend the uh, transmission uh, dipstick tube out of the way a little bit and uh, had to tweak the uh, oil dipstick a little bit too. But And I used the uh, my old gaskets out of my stock valve covers. It came with new ones, but I just used my other ones because they was a little bit thicker, better made, seemed like. But we'll try them out and see how it goes. The supercharger should be here tomorrow. I'm going to do a review and stuff on it and unveil what brand it is and everything. And we'll see uh, how it goes. I'm hoping to get it on the dyno and everything next week. i got to check with my tuner and see what days he's got available. Then we'll get it all together first, make sure everything's going to work and whatnot. But... I like the looks of the valve covers. Let's just hope they don't leak or nothing. But we'll see. But this side right here was a pain. Mainly getting to the bottom bolts. But I've used a swivel and stuff, a quarter inch. And it takes a little bit of finessing to get it in there on that side. This side it fell pretty much in. It wasn't as bad as the other one. But. I want to give you guys a little update for today. Uh, I'll make a review and stuff on the uh, supercharger as soon as it comes in tomorrow, and we'll try to make a little bit, a little bit of an install video, not full in depth, but might show you a few little things on it. But that's all for now. Like and subscribe. Oh yeah, yeah for the ones that did notice. I did change the name of the channel a little bit. It's no longer Mopar Nation. It is uh, Mopar Muscle 304. The reason I changed it, there's a few other Mopar Nations on, on YouTube, and I just wanted something that was different. And, and I don't think... I tried to search, but I didn't see anybody that had the same name that I got now, the Mopar Muscle 304, but we'll, we'll see. But yeah, that's all for now. Like and subscribe. Thanks.